What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Footprints. Excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb, I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was. Have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. 
results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menger will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive with my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... you know. Dijkstra doesn't need to know about my love life. Wise. I'd never choose his shoulder to cry on either. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Glad you're here. Listen. Took a look at the building, and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damned fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will, and in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine, let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. 
Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. For the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine. Grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Scram before I lose my patience. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Eilhart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. 
I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Why the drink? Triss Merigold has been captured. An occasion worthy of a toast, don't you think? Not in the mood. You've two choices, Witcher. Drink or die. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage, year of the massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! No! Stop! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Got a silver sword on my back. That not enough? It proves nothing. Dopplers can change their bodies at will into materials that look and feel like silver as well. Materials that have none of silver's useful properties naturally. See, you're an expert on Dopplers. I'd expect a witcher of all things to understand the value of knowing one's enemy. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none! Now, let us talk shop. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. Yeah, I've ploughed Triss. But what does it matter if you're paying gold for her head? Oh yeah. <laughs> Nearly forgot the mutation strip witches of feelings. No, no more. I can't. Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee. Ow! Oh, bitch bit me! Ah, oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bird for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. You see, I've a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person. Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's grown suspiciously quiet in there. Come.
I should tend to your wounds. No need. I'm fine. Well, mostly fine. Should heal in time for my wedding. Sorry. Should have gotten you out sooner. Don't apologize. I knew what I was signing up for. How do I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Manga said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle. Dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Manga gave the order. In person. Shit. I'm sorry, Geralt. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... After what they subjected you to, no need to explain. He... he'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe, for now. Though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable. And Menga's not likely to order his transfer. Or anyone's, for that matter. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us. Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra, with my regards. Saw Manga burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Ah, too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note? Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. Could you revive him? Maybe. If I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunk in that low just yet. Nothing but dead ends. We'll need to make do. Breaking Dandelion out starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But in this case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple, and no one's ever been broken out. Anyone actually tried? They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived, it almost cost me my life. Meng is the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bybervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. sword. Geralt, over here! This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, 
But I also need to blow off some steam. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm-hmm. Not about to use the teleport, though. See you, Triss. You there! Mr. Roven wants a word! Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark, no scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. How do you find out? I asked the questions here. Not true. That was a statement. Come on, Dijkstra. This tough guy act doesn't work on me. We're both adults. Act like one. <laughs> ah, Geralt. I should have you strangled, but I like you, you bastard. I like you too, you count without a county. Now that we've professed our feelings for each other, how'd you figure it out? Since from the start, you were up to something. You didn't haggle about your pay. And then I heard from my sources that Margrave Henkel and Dandelion had rubbed elbows. Wasn't hard to connect the dots. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Don't bother. I know what happened to Dandelion. Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. <laughs>